Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Melanie Martinez from her new K-12 album. So let's get started. To draw Melanie, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and basically draw the bottom of a U. So I'm going to come to the other side, about this much. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect it through a curve. So it's a little bit narrower, not as wide. Towards the center and connect. There. So it's basic shape that you're aiming to draw. So let's come back to where you started in this area. I'm going to come to the edge and draw a circle for the eyes. So same thing on the other side. So let's come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to draw two, draw two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. So same thing on this side. Okay, so we have the eyes and let's come over here to the um, side and we're going to draw lash lashes. So we're going to come out with one long one, shorter one at the top and another shorter one at the bottom. So same thing over here, one long one, thicken that up and then a shorter one top and then a shorter one at the bottom. There. So then let's come above her eye and we're going to draw her brow. So let's come about right here and I'm going to give it a slight arc but kind of slant it down a little bit. I'm just going to come in here and thicken that up. So same thing over here. Slight arc and slant it down. And then for her mouth, I'm going to attempt <laughs> to give her lips. So I'm going to kind of, let's say about right here, very lightly, I'm just going to draw a soft curve. So you can leave it like that if you like. But if you want to draw her lips, I'm going to come right here, and draw a curve at the top. I just felt she needed it, like a baby doll. So in the bottom, there. Okay, so then from there, let's finish her face. So hopefully you like her lips like that. I'm going to bring this up a little bit more, kind of like where her brow area is. And I'm going to basically draw a curve that comes all the way around for her bangs. But here and there, I'm going to add a slight zigzag. So it's just a little in, coming in here and there. And when we come towards the center, so about right here, I'm going to go up and then come down and aim towards the other side just here and there so then let's bring this out a little bit for her bangs and then let's come to the side where her eyes are and say about right here we're gonna draw her ears just draw a curve Add some details inside so about where her eyes are right here and here and add her other ear and details. So then from there, let's go ahead and draw this piece for her bangs. So I'm going to come up on both sides. And just remember, this is kind of like our center. So I'm just going to draw a very slight curve as we create this kind of like a dome shape. So let's come up about see, that much and come down. And I'm just going to finish this slight curve because it's half half for her hair color. And then let's come above just a little bit, right above it, 
and we're gonna give a slight dip on both sides and then let's bring this down on both sides so we're gonna aim towards her ears about right here and connect so same thing over here do a slight angle and connect oops okay, I'm gonna pop that out a little bit okay <laughs> there's my boo-boo okay so then from there let's come to the side and we're gonna draw her bow so about right here I'm gonna pop out a bow so this is the loop add the inside for the loop and then the tail just kind of tuck it in so same thing over here about right here doesn't really matter it can be lopsided <laughs> and so that's I'm not drawing points but it's around here in this area and the other side for her bows and then we're gonna draw the rest of her hair later let's come and draw her um, outfit so I'm gonna to come to the center give her a little neck and let's bring out her shoulders okay so pretty even on both sides from there because she has these poofy shoulders I'm not gonna um, just come down I'm gonna go um, I'm gonna go up about right here on both sides and then let's come down here we're gonna imagine kind of her armpit so this area on both sides is draw give myself two points and I'm gonna draw a slight angle line down okay so then from there I can figure out where to draw her top so let's bring this down a little bit more and bring it in and then let's draw some details right here. She has this little ruffle. So I'm just gonna wiggle it a little bit. Make it look like ruffle. And then let's connect this part and this part right here. And then wiggle, wiggle for this other part that's gonna end about right here. Okay, so then from there we can go ahead and connect this now for her body. Give it a little waist. And then let's come out and draw her skirt. Just poof it out a little bit. And let's bring this down. a little bit more okay so about right there I'm gonna go ahead and just curve it all the way down so and connect and you can draw some details in here just add some crease lines here and there and let's see here, we, right here, can add another. Her folds in her skirt. Okay, so then now let's, um, let's come up here and let's draw her, um, her sleeves. There's big poofy sleeves. So I'm gonna bring this down. And it's really long, so it's gonna hit about right there. Really nice and big. So, about right there, I'll bring it in. So same thing on this side. Poof it out. And once again, this area. Bring it in. Okay, so then from there, let's draw her legs. So centering it, let's come about right here and here. And in this area, I'm going to give it a slight curve very slight and then let's come right here 
and we're just going to get thinner as we come down. All right, they'll stop and I'll draw her socks. So about right here, I'm gonna come down for her shoe. This is about her sock area. And I'm gonna curve her shoe towards the center a little bit. Towards the center. And let's go ahead and connect it. The bottom. And now, since we're down here, let's just draw some details. Add a curve right here. And then in this area, I'm gonna come in, curve out. And then in here, so I'll say about right here. And then laces right here. So same thing on this side. Okay, so then now let's draw her hands. So this side is going to be just tucked right in so you won't see her fingers. I'm just going to hide it behind her skirt. And then I'm going to have a, um, like she's holding a strap of her lunchbox so about right here. And the strap of her lunchbox is going to pop out. Let's draw her little bag that she has. Something like that. <laughs> okay, so then this hand, um, let's come about right here. And we're just going to once again tuck it in to her skirt as well. So we don't have to draw too many detail. And let's draw some creases here for her sleeves so it doesn't look too stiff. And of course, let's add the um, heart right here. So I'm going to come to the center about right there and draw a heart. And let's ruffle around. And then write K12 in here. There. And let's finish her hair. So I'm going to tuck it right behind her ear. And it's going to be really long. So right here, I'm just going to wave it. Tuck it between and it's still going to come out. So and I'm just going to go ahead and tuck it in. So same thing on this side. And tuck it in. And let's see, am I forgetting anything? I think. That's pretty much it for my version of Melanie Martinez from her new K-12 album. Hope you enjoyed watching me draw this and it inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic videos. See you later.